Hi there, this tutorial, I think. Um, today I will show you how we do if statements. So, to start off, we will use uh, here the compare statement, and also I will show you how we use if statement. So, I will start my code with branch main, and I will declare some variables. I will use x. And y, and <coughs> I will say main in here, and I will ask for input of the decimal number, and that will be for x. Then load x, and now I can do the compare uh, statement. So what, what I want to do is the if statement will have some kind of compare value and I will compare if x so I will compare if x is more than or less than let's say 5 and I will say branch uh, if it's more than we can have less than like this so it's L stands for less and t for then, greater than, so it's greater and then then, and then we also can have equal, so if it's equal, and then we can have uh, less or equal, and we have greater and equal, something like this. I will use greater than, and I need to assign some kind of um, uh, I don't know, well, it's letter or something like this string for it to be used later on so let's say I will use B and if this is not true so if for example if it's not more than 5 then I will say I will do Astra and then I will and um, let's say I will okay, add 1 and I will store it in Y. And here we have our <coughs> B section. So it's branch if it's greater than. If it's not, it will execute the code. It will execute this code if it's not greater than. And if it's greater than, then I will do Asla to multiply this. And I will do. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, then I will do for example sub accumulator one and store in Y. Then I will need some kind of branch. I don't need to do that, I will just say C and let's say that C, uh, the deco and X. And I will do separator. This one. And. Okay, and. The code, as I like to call it, Y. Stop it. And end it. Okay, so when I run this, for, with 4, for example, it should. It should not go to it should not go to this branch. It will not execute this statement, but it should execute this one. So if I use it, it should be five. So <coughs> well, I uh, add one. It should be f actually okay. I know where is the mistake. Uh, I actually need to branch it to H. So I don't need to but uh, sorry, I C. So now it should work properly. So four, it will be three. So four divided by two. This one, and then add one. So it's four divided by two is two plus one is three. Then we'll store, and then we'll go to C and display the <coughs> results. So if I put six, for example, and that should multiply it, and minus one. So I will do multiply by 2, so it's 12, 
minus one is left and store and it will print it out and uh, that's how we use our <coughs> if statement we can have many values we can change it to for example 10 mm -hmm. we can change it to <coughs> x even uh, uh, i mean x or other any variable and stuff like this we can we can set any variable uh, and any number to it and then we can have for example uh, less than for example less than so if it's less than it's not less than so it will do this and if it's less than four so it's free for example it will do this one and uh, we can also change it to equal to and let's say four yeah so it is free now we will do this statement <coughs> again if I do, um, for example, less than or equal to 4, so it will be less than, yeah, it's true, so it will go to this one and execute the code. So depending on what type of condition you want to set, uh, it will always do what you want with the condition set and with the compare value or, str uh, or variable you want. So there's many uses of it. Play with this code around and um, uh, have a have a couple of programs. Make them uh, try to solve, uh, add new things and stuff like this. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> add new things to it. And that that is it for this tutorial. <coughs> Sorry, I'm quite ill. That's it for this tutorial. And uh, next tutorial, I'll probably uh, probably I will talk about uh, loops. So for loop, that would be for loop, I think. Um, go ahead, check my, um, my page if you want to. There you can find more tutorials on Java. Next week, probably, I will release um, tutorials on Visual Basic if you're interested. So yeah, there's many more to come. And I think that's, that will be it for me. And bye.